What's up weirdo, Shade Tree Surgeon here, and it's time for another hair scramble video, but not just any hair scramble video, this is actually the last hair scramble video of the year. I almost can't believe it myself, but yes, I have done an entire season of hair scramble racing at this point, almost. I did miss two races to extenuating circumstances, one of which being St. Patrick's Day, which as a bartender is kind of hard for me to avoid, and the other being, of course, an accident that somebody suffered, which was completely out of my control. It's a little disappointing because I did start out this year saying that I was going to attend every single race, but I, what can you do, man? I mean, life happens. It's, if all I had to do was race motorcycles, uh, you know, I'd be living a pretty happy life, but uh, I got a, a few other obligations in there. And even the season ending is a, it's a little bittersweet because I'll tell you, since I've been racing my dirt bike pretty much every other weekend on top of creating all the other content I make for my channel, on top of having my job, and on top of just having a life, uh, it hasn't left me a whole Whole lot of free time and while I enjoy every race I go to I am also looking forward to having that time back so I can use it to do other things one of the biggest things I think I've missed with racing every other weekend is just free riding my dirt bike uh, I since I haven't had a lot of time basically the time I have allotted to riding my dirt bike I'm only racing and while racing has been one of the things that has improved my skills the most I just every time Time I see something or every time I try something in a race I just I know if I was free riding I would have the chance to go back and try it a hundred times in a row and while I'm in a race it's you're racing man there's no let's go back and do that again and try to do it better so I'm looking forward to going free riding and I'm looking forward to honing some of the skills that I've just started to uncover like an archaeologist digging up a lost civilization buried under a fat belly and I'm, I'm just looking forward to getting better and free riding and then coming back next season and putting those skills to use. I also want to use the off season to do some traveling. I really, really want to go out to Texas and ride with B-Rad. I want to go to Durham Town Off-Road Park. There's just a bunch of places that I want to load this dirt bike up and go visit and go do some new terrain and ride with some new people. I, by all means, leave me some suggestions in the, in the comments down below of places like in and around the Florida, Georgia, uh, South Carolina, Alabama area that you think that would make a great weekend trip for Shade Tree Army to go and ride at. But that's enough jaw jacking about what I'm gonna do when I'm in the off season. For right now, it's time to race. So let's go ahead and get this dirt bike ready. I'm super stoked to get it out there because I actually took it back and had the suspension completely rebuilt by Ronnie Monk at 612 Racing. That suspension had over 100 hours on it and this entire season and last entire season and all the times I spent free riding on the bike, which was actually quite a bit. So needless to say, it was roached. And I I think a lot of the problems that I was feeling with the suspension was actually the, due to the fact that I had never bled it because, you know, even though I've been riding dirt bikes for a few years now, there's still a lot of things I don't know and sounds super stupid, but I didn't know that you had to bleed the air out of your suspension. So Ronnie said that I had gone up multiple spring rates, theoretically, because there was so much air in my suspension so i'm really looking forward to getting that bike out there and seeing what it feels like but for now if you remember in the last race i took a bit of a tumble and i wrecked my hand guard but luckily i got a replacement for that so i'm going to pop that on there real quick and hey we're going to head into the bar work my shift and then it's time to race oh time to race didn't do a whole lot of filming outside of that first little bit and of course now i'm going to film the race because you know this being the last race of the season i was getting come on now there we go <laughs> it's getting maybe just a i don't know if sentimental is the right word but i was just having a really good time hanging out the crew with wes and kevin and everybody else and i'm sad that ty isn't here i'm sad that dylan isn't here yeah, they couldn't make this race, but life gets in the way sometimes, you know. It makes me realize that as much fun as the race is, this is about the people. It really, really is the people that make this so much freaking fun and so amazing. My man, what's up, dude? 
Thanks, Thanks my brother. Did you ride a gator back last week? I had to miss it. I had to, I had to work. It, I, I broke two ribs, so that's why. Holy moly, dude. I was uh, saying, yeah, Oh, dang, dude. I'm feeling better? No. I, I dig you. I fucking dig your style, man. There ain't a painkiller ever invented that works better than adrenaline. No. <laughs> Ten All right. Don't be a hero. Oh, Dusty boy. What a different suspension setup does for these whoops. All right, don't make any mistakes trying to keep up here. I feel like I'm not faster than the guy right in front of me, but faster than the guy in front of him. those dudes through though because I ain't that much faster than the guys in front of me <laughs> Some of these corners, they look like big old wide sweepers that you can just bomb through them, but some of them are covered in roots. And I don't remember which ones. <laughs> so I'm gonna take this first lap kind of easy when it comes to those things. Some real slick roots in here. So let's not tempt fate. Go ahead and try and hit everything as square as possible, buddy. When in doubt, plow right through the center. <laughs> With enough momentum, it usually works out. Don't forget that rear end going over the roots too, man. You lose it just as easy that way. This is tight up in this motherfucker. Ooh. a chance on that corner. I was hoping there was no palmetto roots in the apex of the turn. 
Sometimes uh, there are. He's all right. He was getting right back up, so I think he's fine. My man! Tight and nasty. Don't fall down, dude. These guys are itching to get through, and you're liable to get run the fuck over. Oh, shit. All right, there we go. So much for my new handguard. Oh man. Bummer. That sucker got ripped all right off. Right, careful. Especially in this shit now, because now you have an exposed hand. Not to mention exposed clake, which is a a damn sight more expensive than uh, your <laughs> The clutch you took off of here. I mean, I'm more worried about my hand than the clay. I'd rather break the clutch before I broke my hand, trust me. Oh man, he let me buy him. That's a new experience for me. <laughs> I don't know if that was the right move or not, bud. <laughs> I suck too. I'm not saying you suck. <laughs> suck is a sliding scale, all right? Oh. Pine tree like to rip my fucking foot off. Point your toes in, dipshit. That stops that. I'm loving this tight stuff, to be honest with you. I'm starting to fall into a little bit of a groove. Whoa, that ain't a groove. Oh, that was a groove. It's not the one I want to be in. I'm going to be amazed if I make this race with my GoPro it actually stays on my helmet. It's just so tight in these trees. Whew. Another wreck. Don't let it be you again, bud. Oh. No more wrecks. No more stalling. It's the last race of the damn season, Josh. Do something special. Not too special. Not too special. <laughs> Alright, parts of this are starting to get muddy. Be careful. Mud and roots is a bad, bad combo. And a lot of times out here, it's so hard tell the difference between black dirt and mud.
Oh, let's hope my fucking clake is intact. I'm good, I'm good, I'm good, go. All right. It's still working. And my hand is still working, so. Not as good as it could have been. But I'm still gonna call walking away with all my fingers working a win because I did hit the tree with them. That was scary for a second. I don't fucking do it again. You were po going all over the place, buddy. See how close it is? One little off, all of a sudden the guy behind me is the guy in front of me. That's how she goes. <laughs> going on the inside doesn't count if you don't go do it fast enough to actually pass somebody now, does it? Oh no! <laughs> yes! <laughs> this is where it's fun, fucking awesome. On the last race of the year, getting some battling in with somebody who's right at my skill level. I fucking love it, man. I could, I could pass him. Can I pass him without crashing? If you can't pass him without crashing, then you can't pass him. That's all there is to it. You okay? I always gotta, he checked on me, man. When we're battling like that, I'd rather, I'd rather help him, help him out, dude. Yeah, I usually just ride by, or pass people, but we had a bond. Brothers in arms, doing battle out here, dude. I would have stopped if he was hurt, obviously. Now he's just gonna wait for you to do that. <laughs> and he'll pass you back. That had been your other bar. You might have been in trouble right there. Be careful. Or at least when you're going through something, air on the right side, not the left. God, this fucking suspension being dialed in is making such a huge difference. Whew. I push forward on the bars pretty hard when I clip that in order to keep them from getting yanked out of my hand. where you crash in these roots last time. Let's not do that shit again. Just want to get through this. Oh, God damn it, dude. Point, point your toes in. Y'all didn't see that. My leg got snatched again. Eventually, that's going to hurt you. Like I was saying, get through this shit. 
as quick as possible. This is where you don't want to run into any really fast guys or any guys at all trying to get around you because it's dangerous. And once they start getting real fast, uh, they don't wait. They, they put it wherever it'll fit and uh, sometimes where it don't. Get through this. Dude, whoa. Doesn't look like on camera, but this stuff will beat you up, boy. This is Florida's version of rocks. <laughs> we don't have a lot of rocks, but we got a lot of palmetto roots. Boy, they whip your ass. Although, I'd much rather fall on a palmetto root than a rock. Kindred spirits, actually, suburban delinquent, who everybody thinks I cover up a shit on purpose. I don't. Uh, suburban delinquent, that's just my transponder for racing, and they just, that's where they put it, and a cigarette was there, so trust me, not on purpose. Oh, come on, no whammies. Anyway, Sub D is actually racing right this second. As I'm recording this, he is doing a 70 mile desert enduro out in California. I think that is so cool. That Sub D, if you guys don't know, if you haven't watched Channel Forever, is we both kind of started YouTube at the same time, and he's gotten a lot more successful than I have Again, through hard work, of course. You know, I'm not taking anything away from him. But since we started at the same time, we kind of really became good friends. And we talk pretty often on the phone. And uh, we've met up several times, both here in Florida, in California, and in Las Vegas, too. And man, we have, we have fucking put down some beers, dude. Whoa! <laughs> I, got so, I got so distracted by that dude fucking hauling ass. I almost wrecked. <laughs> You're so good. I had stars in my eyes. So, I think that was probably Mr. Number One. You can tell this is a fast course if I'm like midway through the second lap in first place is already passing me. Either that or I'm just sucking more than normal. What? How the hell did I just stay on that? Oh my lord! <laughs> oh, oh wow! God loves idiots. How did <laughs> once again saved from total disaster? I was freaking ghost riding this motherfucker. Whoo! Playing a scratch off tonight. Probably won't win because I used up all my luck on that. And right about there is where my camera stopped recording. Unfortunately, the wire that leads to my external battery pack got pulled out and halfway through the second lap, I heard it die, so I ended up doing the rest of the race with no camera. Part of me was bummed out because I wanna record the races and part of me just said, you know what? This is my last race, I'm just gonna go, hey, the camera's off, I'm gonna focus on racing, I'm gonna have a good time, I'm gonna finish out the season and just do it completely by myself. Doing the last half of the race without you guys because when and I have the camera rolling, I always feel like I'm doing it with all the people who watch me on YouTube. You know, I don't, I don't feel like I'm alone when the camera's rolling, but when it's off, I, I feel completely alone. I took a lot of time to think about why I'm doing this, why at almost 36 years old, I'm putting myself through this. Like, what, what, what am I doing out there? I mean, I'm not very good at it. It's legitimately dangerous. People get hurt doing this. I mean, seriously hurt. I have to work for a living. If I crash and break my leg, I, I could be in serious trouble. There certainly isn't any money at the end of that racetrack, even if I was getting number one, so, 
Why? Once again, why am I doing this? I think it started out as just to prove that I could do it. You know, these races were out there and I said, hey, I want to see if I can push myself hard enough to do one of those races that I see everybody else doing. And that's how it started, but it became something else. The camaraderie that you experience out there and just the mindset you get into when you're pushing yourself so freaking hard and not giving up was just, it's so addictive and it feels so good. And even though I've, I've never even placed well in a race and I don't think I'll ever win a race, just the feeling when you're out there pushing yourself as hard as you can go and just you're not fighting against anybody else so much as you're fighting against your own will to persist. That's what I love about racing and that's what keeps me going back. On top of the fact that the people are absolutely amazing, just these, these people that have helped me through the season, my friend Ty and Wes and Kevin and Dylan and all these people I show up to the races with are so cool and so amazing and we're all out there having fun and doing the same thing and it's just, it's almost indescribable. All of the people who have started coming out to the races, you know, I get a lot of messages and, and a lot of people telling me like, hey, I watched your videos and now I got a dirt bike and I'm out there racing too. You guys get it. You get it. You guys who have done the races and gone out there and met people and seen how it is at these hair scrambles, you understand. And let me tell you, those are some of the most inspiring messages I get are people who say like, hey, you know, I maybe I thought about racing or I thought about dirt bikes. I never thought I could do it. Then I saw your fat ass do it and I said, hey, if, if he can do it, I can do it. And that makes me super happy because that was really the point of all of these videos is, uh, you know, on top of wanting to document my own journey, I wanted to show other people that, hey, you can do this. I don't care if you're fat. I don't care if you're old. I don't care if, if what your excuse is. No, you can get out there and you can do this. This was my last race of the season. I wouldn't even say it was my best race of the season at all, but I had fun, I had a good time, and I came away smiling. Part of me is sad that the season's over. Part of me is super excited to work on different skills and come back next year and then try out those skills on the racetrack. You know, just, 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 the season is over and I already can't wait for the next season to start. You guys who watch these race videos all the way through, you know, I know they're super long and they're super focused. And I've said this a bunch of times before, but these are some of the worst performing videos that I put out. You know, they get the least amount of views, but the people who do watch these really, really love them. And I actually get some messages from people who say these are the only videos of mine that they watch. So to you guys who have stuck with me through this super weird, super slow journey of me learning how to ride dirt bikes and eventually going to race hair scrambles, Thank you. I appreciate you sticking with me. I appreciate what your encouragement and I appreciate you supporting me through this. I don't know. I don't even know what to call it. I, I just me stumbling through. I'm not even saying I'm getting good at riding dirt bikes. I still suck at it. That's the whole thing. I still suck at this, but I think I'm starting to suck less and I don't know, we'll see. Like I said earlier in this video, it's all about the people and it's not just the people at the races, it's also all you people who are cheering me on in the comment section and who are watching me race and telling me to go out there and do it. Thank you guys, that's what makes this whole bizarre endeavor so much fun. Till the next dirt video, keep it weird y'all.